Question 5 is to find the surface area of solids. The surface area formula is given over here. It is the integral limits a to b 2 pi f of x. That's the given function multiplied with the square root of 1 plus f prime of x the whole square dx. You might remember this much. See this much is the last formula that is Arkland formula. Only 2 pi x or f of x the function is the addition. That is to find the surface area. Now let's look over here these problems. Very simple. First you need to know the formula. Let's write it out over here. a to b 2 pi and the function is the extra thing. Function f of x means y okay. This is f of x. And what else? Square root of 1 plus f prime of x the whole square dx. This is it. You need to derive each function over here. It's 2x derivation. Here it's x minus 2x. Sorry, it's not x. It's 2 over here. I don't know what, what happened to me. It's 2 minus 2x. And over here it is 3x squared minus 4. And this becomes 0. Sine derivation is cosine x. Now with these, you can easily solve the problems. Let's take our calculators. So let's start writing it out. Integral the symbol. And then we need to write 2 pi. You can even write 2 pi out of the integral because it's the constants. But we can write any way you want. Now write the function. Let's start with the first problem. It's simple. R x squared, close the bracket, multiply it with square root 1 plus over your derived function. It's 2x. Then again over here brackets are required because you have to square only the derived part, power 2. And what are the limits? This must be given 0 to 1. And that is the answer. You can see it is 3.8097. What about the next one? Same thing. Over here, when you solve, you must keep it in radian mode. Now, it's already in radian mode. That's fine. For these problems, you know, it's radian or not in radian degrees. That's fine. You know, no problem at all. Better to clear the calculator now and then. But whenever you see trigonometry, let's put a radian. Over here, it is pi, the upper limit. The below limit is correct, 0 itself. And what is the derived function? Here it is, cos x. So you need to close the bracket for cosine x and then outside bracket as well. And then we have the given function, right? What is the given function here? It is sine x. So we write sine and again close the bracket. And that's the answer. Okay, since it's radian, it's fine. But otherwise, you should press shift, mode, and 4 to change to radian. The answer is 14.42. Similarly, please solve the others. It's a very straightforward problems. Here, as well, it's all simple. Over here, cosine derivative is minus sine. Remember that. Now, when you square it, it becomes positive itself. But remember, derivation is minus sine. Here, it is 1 by x derivation. Ln is 1 by x. Then you square it up. So, 1 squared x squared. Please do them all by yourselves and then check for the answers which are all solved here. That is the end of question 5.